Welcome to this episode of Virtual Shabbat with a Shmir. Barney Greengrass, while it's open for deliveries, is not open for us to sit in our usual space. But I have the pleasure of being here today with Shabbat Mom, with Meredith Berkman, as we discuss this week's double portion, Bahar Bechukotai. Meredith, welcome, and I hope that everybody is well. Thank you, Rabbi Mintz, my dear friend. Yes, would that we were sitting at Barney Greengrass on the Upper West Side, and I'm sorry for the sound effects. It appears that several of my kids are seem to be doing some kind of loud yoga class uh, just outside my door. Uh, and I'm, by the way, Shabbat Mom has chosen to wear today a Be a Nice Human t-shirt. I'm trying to wear things that um, project positive messages as I don a mask and walk in Central Park. So the idea of be a nice human and positive messages really relates directly to the beginning of the first um, portion that we read, Bahar. Bahar talks about the sabbatical year, that once every seven years, we let the land lay fallow. And the idea, of course, is that you spend six years working the land. When you're working the land so hard, you don't bother to take a moment and appreciate the world, appreciate the land. And I think that's really an amazing message for us today, because for the first time in our lives, we go outside and we're not outside to make any money. We're not outside even to see our friends. We're kind of just outside to get a little bit of fresh air, maybe to take a run, to take a walk. And what do you think? Do you think we look at the world, at the park, at the city, different than we usually do? No, I know we absolutely do. In fact, I'm just looking, um, uh, you know, in, in Bihar uh, 25, 23, it says, but the land must not be sold beyond reclaim, for the land is mine, uppercase M, meaning the Lord's. You are but strangers resident with me. Throughout the land that you hold, you must provide for the redemption of the land. And one thing um, that I keep thinking about is I have spent more time here in COVID scarred Manhattan walking through and deeply appreciating Central Park and also Riverside Park than I have in probably the last 20 years. So the last two months, um, that we've been sheltering in place. I try every single day, rain or shine, to walk through Central Park. And what I've noticed is, well, I've noticed the, the physical beauty of the park in a way I never noticed or took the time to notice before. And especially just a few weeks ago, but during the cherry blossom um, blooming season, I was, I mean, sometimes I would almost be in tears and I have on my phone, if I look at recent pictures, I have dozens and dozens of photos just of cherry blossom trees in all shades of pink and purple and red. And all of my friends have said the same thing. If you look at my phone, I've just taken pictures of these beautiful cherry blossoms. When I was walking through the park, people were almost lined up socially distancing to take pictures of the trees. And what I wondered was, was it always that beautiful? and we never took the time to appreciate it? Or is it a combination, we never took the time to realize the land is, in the words of the Bible, quote, mine, the beauty of the Lord. And because of this sabbatical that's been spoken about a lot, that there, there are less cars, there are less, you know, less um, poisonous emissions in the air because everything is shut down, has that made the colors and the, the bloomings that much more beautiful. And so, you know, if we, if we, we can look at this very difficult time in some sense as um, a spiritual and even physical jubilee. I mean, easy for us to say we have food to eat. Thank God, you know, my daughter and I are recovered from COVID. We're, we're all, you know, for the moment healthy. It's not, that's certainly not the case for thousands upon thousands of New Yorkers and people across the country. But on the broader scale, if we can, try to link this moment of physical beauty and spiritual beauty to the Bible and to what we're all experiencing around us, then hopefully that will be a bomb for our souls. I mean, that's a beautiful idea. And I wonder, just based on your t-shirt, be a nice human, I wonder whether that's also related to this idea of the sabbatical and, you know, is is the park really more beautiful or is it just that during the sabbatical, you know, something, something changes? It's hard to know. And I wonder whether that's true about us also. You know, on one hand, 
it's harder to be a nice human these days, right? We're home together with everybody. Um, you know, there's no sports to watch on television. Um, everybody is up. You know, <laughs> yeah, you know, it's coming up to summer. The kids are going to be off their Zoom schools and everything. It's, it's a challenge to be a nice human. But at the same time, we read these amazing stories about these people who, have, who, who rise to be amazing human beings, specifically at this time. And you wonder, I mean, I often wonder, or are they always so good? You know, like what happened? Like, how do we get them to be this good or to be ourselves to be so good all the time? Or maybe there's something about being challenged and kind of being separated from everybody else that kind of brings out the best in all of us. And that's what we have to aspire to. I mean, that's really the message of the Bible, right? Where there's no, no person is perfect. Only God is perfect. And we're supposed, I, 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 my interpretation is and we have to try to live our lives always striving higher to be better people, to be better, um, you know, spouses and parents and friends and partners and, um, and better guardians of the earth. So we'll try. And I think there's no better lesson to end today with than the fact that the, to the, this week we conclude the book of Vayikra. And at the end of Vayikra, we say together, chazak, chazak, v'nit chazay. We should be strong, we should be strong, and we should strengthen one another. Um, what a lesson for all of us today. Shabbat shalom.